Yo, what to do everybody? I'm Artic. Hope you're having a good day. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Twitter account just dropped a new gameplay clip of Johnny, one of the newest members to join the family. With this new gameplay clip, we can see how Johnny ability works, get to hear some of his voice lines, get to see his standard execution. I will also go into a little bit of extra detail about this newest family member, Johnny, going over some of his attributes and stuff like that. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get it. All right, here it is, Johnny gameplay. I'm gonna let the gameplay play out first for you guys, then I'll talk about it and go in detail after. You ever watch someone die? You ain't never quite the same after that, let me tell you. Now, where did you go? On your tail now. Alright, Johnny looking like a beast already. I like to call Johnny Mini Leatherface, but obviously without the chainsaw. I call Johnny Mini Leatherface because their attributes are very similar. On the left are Johnny's attributes and on the right are Leatherface attributes. And as you can see, they're basically twins. So for savagery, Johnny is just 5 points slower than Leatherface. As for harvesting, Johnny is 5 points higher than Leatherface. And endurance, Johnny is 5 points lower. So again, very similar in attributes wise, just 5 points difference across the board, so keep that in mind. Now back to the gameplay, first thing we notice is his endurance and speed in action. As you can see, he is pretty quick, not as fast as Hitchhiker I don't think, cause Hitchhiker has the highest endurance out of all the family members. He's definitely top 3 in endurance, as you see his stamina bar filling back up quickly as well. Now we get to see his ability in action, his ability is called Hunt, when he activates his ability, he has a chance to see a fresh footprint. Keep in mind the footprint has to be pretty fresh, meaning that the victim just went by through here. I don't think you can find a footprint that's been there for hours already, then he'll be able to track that. Don't think it'll work that way, it has to be somewhat fresh. So after you find a footprint, you hold X on it, then it's basically game over for you. Your hiding spot has been compromised. Johnny will be able to track your tail and the direction the victim went. Hey man, he's a master tracker. All he needs is one sniff of what kind of shoe you're wearing, regardless the brand and then he'll be on your tail like no tomorrow. Next we get to see his default execution in action. I'm assuming this is his default one but who knows and I gotta say it's pretty brutal. Stab in the gut, stab at the ribs, then boom stab at the neck and the next thing you know the neck is gushing out like a waterfall. Pretty cool and brutal execution if I do say so myself. But moving on we got some more fun facts about Johnny. Aside from being able to track the victims, Johnny can also instantly barge through doors as well and also he's able to close those metal cross spaces similar to how the cook does it. I mean it seems like Johnny is an overall mad lad. He's a brute, He's the second strongest in the family right behind Leatherface and his endurance is really good as well being tied up with Sissy actually for third place. As for his harvesting which is the amount of blood you get for victims is not so great. It's the second worst in the game, first worst is Leatherface, but hey, it's just blood collecting. They ain't worried about that, Johnny can track down his own victims himself. He doesn't need Grandpa to locate the victims for him, you know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoyed Johnny's gameplay and the breakdown of him. Smack the like button for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre and subscribe ring the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So